Well, in just about an hour, Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland will give his State of the City address in Whitehaven. It will be his last such address before the Memphis City election this October. So the mayor is expected to hit on some similar themes as he prepares to run for re-election. Local 24 News weekend anchor Annette Pegler live in Whitehaven with a preview. Annette. Well, Katina, I reached out to the City of Memphis spokesperson to try to get talking points ahead of tonight's State of the City, and I was told by his administration that we'll just have to wait and see what the mayor talks about exactly tonight. We do know in the past he's been very vocal about getting the Memphis Police Department to 2,300 officers by 2020, so we do expect the mayor's safety plan to be discussed here tonight. Now, over the past year, we've seen major announcements by the city to grow core areas of downtown, midtown, and surrounding neighborhoods. The mayor may also talk about his plan for the city's $950 million development project for Union Avenue. Mayor Strickland has previously laid out his efforts to reduce violent crime. He's mentioned the city is right around 21 officers. He expects that number to grow throughout the year. Crime stats show violent crimes are recently down, but there has been an uptick in juvenile crimes. Now, Mayor Strickland should also talk about youth programs. Last week on the show, he did mention that enrollment is about 50% up for youth programs in libraries. So so we should hear about that as well. And I'll be live tweeting all night long here at the State of the City. So please follow me at Local 24 Annette. Reporting uh, live, in, live in Whitehaven, Annette Pegler, Local 24 News.